Hi, this is Delene with McDonald's Sewing and Vacuum. And today I'm going to show you how to thread the awesome Husqvarna Viking E20 with a twin needle. Twin needles always kind of surprise people if they haven't used them before because I get I see this puzzled look. It's like, how do you get two needles in there? Well, the way they work is that there's actually only one place. This is just like a regular needle that goes into the machine, but then coming out of the needle top are the two needles. Um, this one is a 3.0 millimeter wide uh, needle, and it means it has a gap of three millimeters in between the two needles there. It's a size 75 embroidery needle, but we're going to use it for some sewing. So, um, okay. So I've taken out the regular the needle that was in the machine, and I'm just going to set it aside. And on all domestic machines, the or I should say, the vast majority, maybe there's one or two out there that don't do this, but on most um, domestic machines there's a flat back on the needle and that goes toward the back so I'm going to make sure the flat part is toward the back and I'm going to put it in the machine just like I would any other needle and tighten my uh, the screw that holds the needle in and I've lifted up my foot because as you may have heard me mention if you've seen my other videos the most important thing when you're threading the machine is to make sure the foot is up when you thread the top of the machine. So the other thing we need is two spools of thread. Okay, so now that I have the needle in, I'm going to thread it, show you how to actually thread a twin needle. On the E10, we're lucky because it has two uh, spool holders <laughs> already on the machine. And so the thread just comes across and behind this guide, you're gonna thread the first thread just like you would thread any other thread. So um, I'm gonna make sure I kind of floss that thread in there to those tension discs, come up and around the take up lever. There's a guide right here. So I'm gonna get that into that guide. And then there's a guide in front of the needle. Okay, so you get it into the thread guide right in front of the needle. And then at this point, if it makes it easier, you can put the foot down. And because um, these needles are neither one in a normal position for this uh, needle threader, I'm gonna thread it manually. So bear with me for a minute while I try to get this thread in here. I'm going sideways, so. Now that I've got the thread actually in the needle, I'm gonna pull it through and it's time to thread the other needle. <clears throat> so I've got the green thread here and everything's gonna be exactly the same. Uh, first of all, I need to put my foot up again since I had it down before. I'm just gonna thread the needle or thread the top of the machine just the same way that I did um, the previous thread until I get here. I'm gonna go in through this top guide but then I'm gonna leave this thread, I'm not gonna get put it into the guide that's right in front of the thread guide that's right in front of the needle here. I'm gonna leave this one out and I'm going to thread the second needle. Okay, so I'm gonna thread, got the second needle threaded and I'm gonna bring that thread in, both threads in through the foot, the gap in the foot and to the back. Okay, so I, I tested this out before I did this video, and I want to show you I my first stitch out, I think the tension is just a little bit too tight on the back. So I'm going to loosen my tension just a little bit up here. I'm going to take it from four down to maybe somewhere between three and four, see if that works a little bit better. Then put my fabric under the needle. Um, my bobbin thread, I believe, is already up. Yes, I already have my bobbin thread up. It's coming from down here. 
and put the foot down and start sewing. And we'll see if the tension is a little bit better. I think I'm also going to make my stitch a little bit longer. So I went from 2.5 to 3 on my stitch length. And we'll see how that did. So cut with my thread. It looks really good on the front, I think. You see those perfectly parallel lines? I wasn't perfectly straight, but who is, right? And that looks, I think, a little bit better on the back. I think I might even loosen it just a little bit more to three on the tension, but that may vary depending on your machine. Um, one thing I'll note here, if you look at these needles and how wide they are, this is a 3.0 millimeter gap. There's barely enough room for both of those needles to go through that foot, the hole in the foot. So you're not going to want to try to use a decorative stitch with this or even a zigzag with this particular needle. There are, as I mentioned earlier, there are different widths. Uh, that the needles are apart and maybe if you went down to like a 1.5 versus 1.4 inch or sorry millimeter gap you might be able to do a slight zigzag but always uh, try it with the hand wheel first uh, so that you don't break a needle or uh, break your twin needles <laughs> while you're doing your sewing so happy twin needle sewing